all, it's Katie. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing Island tour. Okay, I am really, really looking forward to what we have in store today because we are touring the island of Bearland. And as per usual, I will always make sure to put the island creator's Instagram account, her name is Kat, in the description box below, as well as the dream address, some codes that are on this island, all that good stuff. But with that said, check out how adorable this flag is. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. <laughs> also, welcome if you are new to my channel. We do a ton of island tours over here, so if that's something you enjoy watching, make sure to subscribe to my channel and then comment down below on a tour you'd like to see next. Also, I did put in my description box the link where you can actually submit your island to be featured, so look at that as well. And here is the map of Bearland. Yeah. Grab a snack, grab a drink, whatever you want, cozy up, and let's do this tour because it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit more lengthy than my other ones because one, two, three, four houses are on this island and five residents. Now the reason I think it's this way, and correct me if I'm wrong, I believe that Animal Crossing in total allows you to add four houses per switch, but you can have more human residents or accounts, so to speak, up to eight. Uh, they just wouldn't have houses on there. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. I'm not sure if that's accurate, but that's my understanding. So we have RZA, we have Kurt, Cat, and Bandit with houses, as well as Freddy. And then for villagers, we have Poncho, Zell, Maple, Marshall, Bo, Coco, Dizzy, Blue Bear, Sherb, and Teddy. And here is the dream address right here on the screen. But again, this will be in the description box as well. Eek, I'm so excited. So I was looking at some pictures of this island on Kat's Instagram account and oof, I think we are in for an absolute treat. I mean, come on, this entrance already? Is it not just like to die for? Oop. How stinking cute. Oh, I'm obsessed. This makes me really miss my island being set to summertime. Also this path, how she layered the light brown path with this custom code right here and the moss on this. Man, that's unique. Ooh, and a little beachside plant shop. How cute and quaint is that? Now, I don't wanna to get too into the beaches quite yet because I wanna give this entrance really the attention it deserves. And Bo, my baby, I think that's a good omen that this is gonna be an island that absolutely floors us. <laughs> oh, and look at this sweet seating area right outside of the airport, like you're waiting on your flight. You got your luggage right next to you. This is so precious. Also check out how every single one of these grids is either a different QR code or design code, or it's the actual path layered with something unique. That is so cool. And here we are at resident services. I love that entrance. Oh, and a sweet little, a little like reading cafe. Well, that's so sweet. And let's go. Well, let's check out her nook's cranny first and then maybe we can go to that back incline. Oh yeah, we got nook's cranny over here. I love this little white and red and yellow custom design. That's super cute. Oh, and then her April sisters right up here as well. Okay, cute. So this is like a very dedicated little shopping district. So, so sweet. Now I'm not sure what is right here, but I think that's gonna be a forced perspective area and I wanna look at that later when we do a little loop. So let's go this way first, cause I wanna check out this back incline. Oh, little duck right there in the water pond. <gasps> yep, okay, this was a great move. I'm glad we did this. Look at this bridge. Holy smokes. I love how wide this bridge is too with the stunted trees and all of the weeds. Something about this feels so, I mean, obviously so natural, but like 
it feels very cozy and, you know, tucked in there, but it's quite wide when you think about it to have all of those trees planted. Oh, hello, Sherb. Are you on this bridge with me? <laughs> what a cutie. Oh, and this brings you to one of the houses. Oh my gosh, this yard. How sweet. You have your little washing station over there. I love this exterior too of this house. Oh, how pretty. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, yeah, let's um let's go in house number 1. I mean, we have four of them to explore, so I don't know what we're waiting for. We might as well just go ahead and check out the first one. Oh, how nice. It's just like a big kitchen right on this first room. Oh, that rug is super, super cute. The sunflower rug underneath these tables and chairs. That's adorable. And I love how she used the benches, almost like buffet areas, to grab some fruit or the Yule log. That is a great way to kind of set up a buffet, so to speak. How sweet. Oh, how cool. Oh my gosh, and look at the little picture of Mary back here. I believe a lot of the rooms in these houses, and it could end up being all of them, I think a lot of the rooms are inspired, like if you could design an individual villager's interior of their home, what would you put in there? Like what, how would you make Mary's house, for example? I think that was the inspiration behind a lot of the rooms in these houses. And yes, this absolutely screams Mary if that's the case. This is adorable. Oh, okay, I can't wait to see the others. Let's see if that theory is right. I think that's the inspiration here because it really resonates like with Mary and that was her only picture in there. But I guess we will see depending on what these other rooms have in them. This is like a sewing room. <gasps> this kind of reminds me of whenever I made my um, walk-in closet. But I love how the shoes are on the wall. I didn't even know you could put them on the wall. That looks so great. Oh, and I love you have your little sewing area. And this bear in the back is just so <laughs> cute. This is a precious room. And this rug, I don't even know what this rug is, but I love it. Oh, I love, so good. Okay, let's go in the room to the left. Ooh, a laundry room. This is such a nice laundry room too. I love how it has little television so you can wait for your clothes to get out of the washer or the dryer and all the socks just scattered on the floor. <laughs> That's so funny. This is so nice. Look at the details of just the differently stacked art. You have the sink running too. And the fan that's blowing makes everything moves so perfectly as well. Really gives like motion and life to the room. Okay, these interiors are stunning. Um, let's see what's upstairs. Whoa! <gasps> so there's Apollo's picture over here. This room gives me like major 60s, 70s vibes. Like, it, it kind of reminds me of like that 70s show, the interior of the house. This is a cool bedroom. How awesome is this? Oh my gosh, the little puppy. That is a smart way to decorate a bed with that stall. 
amazing. Oh my gosh, and all of the albums on the wall too, right where the record player is. This is incredible. If this is Apollo's room, ugh, absolutely amazing. Also to note, I, I don't think that the villagers have to correspond with the villagers she has on her island. It could be maybe villagers that like visit when they're in town or, you know, maybe have a vacation home on the island. Wow, this is a beautiful library. This is so well done. I absolutely love the colors, the balance between the bookshelf and this beautiful green wall. Oh my gosh, and that cute seating area in the corner. Yeah, all right, so the interiors on this island 10 out of 10. And I know we've only seen a little bit of the exterior, but also 10 out of 10. I mean, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I was about to say I'm sad that I'm leaving this house and I am, that's true, but we have three other houses to see. Like that's insane. I'm so, so stoked. Yay, okay. So let's go back, hmm. I think there was an area over here. Yeah. Yeah, right here. Okay, good. Let's look through here first to see what I missed. Oh, how sweet. Just like a little park. Oh, yeah. This is just a nice little seating area. And I guess you can go down this way too. Yeah, like a secret little reading nook or where you can listen to some music. That's really precious. We do have a ladder, by the way, to really go and explore some areas too. Yeah, let's go. Um, I don't know if we can go more. Yeah, we can't go too much more this way. Oh, but this little seating area is really cute. So let's go on the other side of the house. Oh my gosh, the water QR code underneath the bucket. I die, I die. <gasps> wow. Look at this outdoor dining and kitchen area. Oh, this is so sweet. You have your little popcorn machine and the wheat and the grains and it looks like this is a cornfield. Oh, it is. Whoa, the corn that is this on top of the um, pillow to make it look like a cushion of seed. And you're making popcorn with what you collected. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> that's so cute. Okay. Well, sorry, sure, but I'm, a, I'm gonna give you a little, just like the slightest nudge. Okay, thank you. <laughs> And we have this cute seating area outside of a villager house. Wow. So this might be, because I did notice a lot of her villagers were on the left side of her map. Ooh, this is a beautiful home. I love the colors coordinated over here. So cute. Oh, and this is our little secret beach. Wow, okay, so this is where Red comes and steals your money. I love this hidden little back area. Like, it's so quaint, but it's so nice. Oh, is this a little laundry area on the rocks? That is too cute. It's always tricky to know what to do with these tiny rocks, right? Like you have space to put stuff, but it's like, what do you do? That's a great example of how nice and quaint it can look. And the sweet laundry area right up there where you're hanging your clothes from just washing them on the rocks. I see a farm. I see a farm. Don't panic, Katie, but there is a farm. Oh, yep, love it, love it. And the windmill too. 
This is so good. Now, you guys know that I am a sucker for anything farm, but especially something that is more like, you know, farm to table. Ooh, can I get out? Which this looks exactly what that is. I mean, yeah, check it out. You have this like huge cornucopia of what you have just harvested. This is so well done. I am super, super impressed. I can't get over how brilliant this is. How there is the dark dirt path or the light dirt path, but it's layered with all of these really pretty and unique custom designs. It brings so much life to the actual path itself. Okay, I guess we're gonna go this way. I'm just kind of winging where we're going. I didn't plan exactly where we're going on this tour. Oh, a little, oh my gosh. It's a chicken coop. Those hats, those hats. Those hats that look like eggs in a nest. I mean, bravo. I mean, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, and here is a little school area. It looks like they're learning some anatomy and physiology. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, there's a ladder right here, which I think is telling me to uh, use it, I would, I would assume. So let's go this way. Yeah, this path is so cool. Each and every square is different and covered with a different custom coat. I mean, come on. Oh, and we're at the museum. Ooh. That is a cool entrance. I love the fortune cookie cart here right outside too. Oh my gosh, and a little horse stable back here. Oh, I love this. So she has the rams and the sheep uh, and the bull. And then back here, it's just like a little horse stable. This is way too cute. My farm loving soul is thriving touring this island, truly. <laughs> what a smart way to decorate this little beach. So I wonder if I can go, I don't think I can, but let me just double check. Oh yeah, there's just like a tiny little hidden area back here. That's so nice, it gives it so much depth. And then let's go back this way and maybe we can explore this right side of the island a little bit more. Ooh, this is really pretty as an entrance too. I love what she did with this peninsula. That is so pretty. It's just like the most simple single waterfall terraforming that really makes a huge impact. And that little bear picnic happening over there on that side, that's just so sweet. And this is the cutest flower shop. I love those vases that these flowers are in. It really feels like you're at a florist. And Bo is back. Are you stalking me, friend? I love you so much. Okay. Oh, and this looks like a little potions shop or a tea shop. I absolutely love the way that these chairs are backed up against this flower cart. It just gives them a tiny bit of dimension and like pops of color. Oh, and some music. Oh, and a record shop. That's brilliant to have a little area where you can play music as well as an area where you can purchase some KK records. Hello, welcome. Thank you, Freddie. Yeah, this is super, super cute. And a little painting area. Oh my gosh, this blanket. This blanket is so cute. Ooh, also how smart to put on these papers. That flower design we've seen on the pathing as well. That's really creative. And we have a little birthday cake spot. Ooh, a little study area too. 
this must be for Flick. This must be Flick's designated um, bug area. Well, there's also this guy right here, so maybe not. Maybe it's not just bugs. Maybe it's CJ and Flick's little, little area. And let's go over here. Hello, Freddy. I don't mean to push you, but I mean to push you. Oh, this is another house. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's look at the yard first and foremost. Ooh, so lots of fish area. And we have these fish statues. So I wonder what theme is gonna happen in here. Oh my gosh, this blanket. I love all of these custom coats. This is one of those islands too. Hello. Oh, I love you too, Kurt. <laughs> so cute. This is one of those islands too that very much reminds me like, why do I have a thousand less custom design slots than everyone else? That's kind of how it feels. Also, don't worry, I'm not forgetting that house is there. I just really want to fully explore this side and then we can do the houses. Oh, this is like a botanical school and uh, farm area, like where you'd probably plant some things or learn about what you planted. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, Bandit. So sweet. Yep. And this kind of flows perfectly into maybe like crafting some tools. Oh, and we're back at that little area. Oh, how sweet. Okay. So let's go this way. I love this dedicated apple area. This is super cute. That is really, really cute. I wonder if that's the native fruit on this island. Even if it isn't, it's really, really pretty. Wee. Okay, let's go over here. We'll go back through here to those houses. So, oh, this is that look down point or look up point that we were looking at earlier. This cool little cafe area. Whoa. Yeah, I'm glad that we viewed it from down here. This is really neat. Oh, and look at that it brings us to this house okay so there's two of them down here actually I think all four of them were on this side of the map anyway let's go in Ooh, this kind of feels like like a hotel lobby where you would check in play some chess yeah, there's keys on the wall, which makes me think that could be it as well. Definitely giving me some vacation hotel kind of vibes here. And I absolutely love it. Let's try this room on the right first. Oh, this is so cute. And look, there is Sherb's photo right there on the wall. So I wonder if this is a Sherb inspired room. It definitely matches with the colors in his photo, how he has that beautiful blue and then the little hints of peach. Definitely get some Sherb vibes in this room. This is adorable. Oh, but then we have Chrissy too. Chrissy is the pink one, right? Am I messing up her and the other one? Francine, I believe the other one is named. Well, that's adorable, so maybe my theory's wrong. <laughs> this is such a sweet bedroom. And now let's go to this back room back here. Oh, I didn't even go all the way. There we go. Whoa, was not expecting this. Oh, how cool. Oh, and there is my boy Bo's photo. Look at how exotic this room is. This is so neat. I never like see this massive fire um, indoors. I mean, I think probably for obvious reasons, like, it would imply the whole place would catch on fire. But this is like, if you like doing those outdoors, indoor kind of theme um, homes where you bring the outside in, 
that's how it looks and it looks incredible. Same with the tiki torches, those are amazing. This reminds me of like a Disneyland ride. Something about it gives me um, theme park ride vibes. So cool. And now let's go, uh, yeah, to the left. Just like the last pattern. <laughs> And this is just a very sweet, super cottagecore kind of vibe room for Miss Coco. As you can see, her picture is on the wall over there. And I definitely get those vibes from this room. I mean, spot on. What, do you, what can you say? Oh, the cute little hats. Yeah, this is adorable. That painting looks so good on that back wall as well. So good, so, so, so good. Okay, so we still have two more rooms in house number two. We are only on house number two out of the four. Holy smokes. Whoa, totally different vibes up here. All right, is there a villager photo on the wall that might correspond with this room? What do you think? I'm getting some Raymond vibes, but I don't know. <gasps> I'm not saying I knew, but, but I mean, bingo. This room screams Raymond. Like the fedora, the black and white details, how it's all gray. I mean, it is way too perfect. Also, I love how this room is segmented as well between bathroom and bedroom. It very much feels like a studio apartment. And the switch on the table is a great little detail. Oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, let's check out the basement. Ooh, how pretty. So this is definitely like an Asian inspired kind of room. There's also two beds. So I wonder if there's a villager associated with this room or not. <gasps> Ketchup, how sweet. Oh my gosh, her picture looks so good in this room too. Wow, I was not expecting ketchup, but I absolutely love this room. I love all of the Asian inspiration brought in here. It definitely resonates. I think it looks so great. And this floor, oh, so good. So, so good. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, these houses, y'all, these interiors. If you need interior inspiration, I mean, look no further. I mean, I don't even know what to say. It looks so nice every single, like, aspect of these houses. Okay, so it looks like, just so we make sure that we are covering, oh my gosh, hello, wait. <laughs> what a cutie. Make sure we are kind of covering all of this. I do wanna circle back to resident services over here, just so that way we kind of connect the dots. What a smart way to plant your lilies of the valley, like in one concentrated area. Oh yeah, this is a five-star island, if you couldn't tell. I mean, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was obvious. So that is how this whole area connects since we didn't see it earlier. And through this absolutely stunning cafe, I mean, oh, yeah, I, I do these island tours all the time. As you know, that's the bulk of my channel. And I just am like, how am I playing the same game as other people? I'm not, I'm just convinced that I'm not. Okay, so this is the house that has the fish on the exterior. So what is the interior? I am very curious and excited to see. Shut up. Are you joking? It's like a Christmas themed pub slash bakery. It's 
slash karaoke bar. Oh my gosh, that graffitied piano in here looks so good. Who would have thought? This is incredible. Okay, so we do have at least two of the rooms blocked off, which means that some of the rooms in this house are probably works in progress or, you know, maybe they're in transition to like a different theme. Holy smokes. What an incredible way to also just block off like that back room. That is beautiful. So this right one is blocked by the um, table. So let's go over here to the left. Ooh, how sweet. This is like the most beautiful gift wrapping slash workshop station. This is so cute, like those um, Nook Ink boxes right there that are unwrapped and the toys. But then you have like obviously the gift wrapping station and then you have this present that's already done. That is adorable. Also, how cute are those records on the wall? What a nice little way to incorporate KK into your house. Alrighty, let's go upstairs. I'm hoping these two are done. Let's see, just in case. Oh my gosh, like I had any doubts. Wow, look at this playroom. This is so cute. This is bringing me back to my childhood, truly, of when Santa would come and just toys. There would just be toys. And it was just like the best feeling ever. Oh, look at those sweet villager photos. How cuties. Wow, something about this room is giving me some serious childhood nostalgia. Like this is so, ugh. I'm like getting emotional. This is so nice. That dollhouse, I used to have a Playmobil dollhouse that looked like very similar to that. And it was so fun to just design rooms. And you know, it's funny that I'm a fan of Animal Crossing now. I used to do that with actual dollhouses, just decorate. <laughs> and this sweet Christmas bedroom. Oh my gosh. Well, if this isn't the coziest, most Christmassy bedroom of all time. Like even though the walls are brick, which sometimes can like give rooms a kind of a colder exterior, it works so well with this room. And also those brightly colored stockings. I mean, come on. Man. Oh my gosh, we still have one more house to go. This is so... <laughs> Y'all, I know this is a long video, but I mean, if you are still hanging with me, let me know in the comments, as you should be, quite frankly, because this island is beautiful from all of the detail on the pathing outside to just every single dedicated spot on this island. Oh, it is just stunning. Okay, so we've seen pretty much this entire right side but we haven't seen much of the left side. So let's go over that way. I want to give this island the tour it deserves where every single little spot is, is shown because I feel like it needs that. And okay, so we did kind of go up that way earlier. So instead let's, hmm, can't go to the left there, but I can down here. Hello, friend. I said hello to you, and I believe I've said hello to you. Oh, what's this? Ooh, that's a cute little look up area. Ooh, 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 sorry. <laughs> oh, a bridge. Oh, <gasps> what? Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I was about to get stunned by this beauty. <laughs> Are you joking me? 
And look at that little forced perspective house on the back. I mean, this is like insane. Oh yes, I got the blink, my favorite. I got the blink. Wow, uh, I mean, ugh. That's what I mean when I say people are definitely playing a different game. Someone has cheat codes, <laughs> someone has. <laughs> I mean, it's just so good. Ooh, what's up here? So we do have some villager houses up here. An outdoor spa. This is perfect. This island is perfect. What do you want from me? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what else to say. Cause that's just the truth. Like this lavender farm. It's so stunning. Also, every single bit of this island is so unique and different. And yet at the same time, it somehow just all flows so seamlessly together. It is so perfect again. Wow. Oh, look at Zell. I love Zell. He always looks so cool. He just looks really cool to me. And then here's a little music area with an outdoor library. Oh, and a cool little office too. All right, Zell, I see you. Oh, and we're at the campsite. Oh, what a cute campsite too. It feels like super rustic. Oh, I love, love, love this. Also, if you didn't know, and maybe you did because you can put custom codes, um, hello, <laughs> on your dock is what I'm trying to say. Oh, that's Kurt, we've talked to Kurt. Look at this sweet little yellow dock. Oh my gosh, and her hat matches, I die. That's so cute. <laughs> so let's check out this beach before we look at everything else. So cool. Got a little reading area. Oh my gosh, I love like this Japanese inspired beachfront. Oh my gosh, how smart. I love that there's a bed right here. It very much feels like a, like a super expensive, luxurious um, cabana that you would rent. Also, how smart is this? Like how she completely disguised what's back here by the way that she planted these trees and put these pillars there. It like really segments the theme between this and this. Wow, Sherb, your house is adorable. Wait, this is Sherb's house, right? Am I crazy? Yeah, 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 okay, it is. Oh wait, also, where is that fourth house? Hmm, one, two, wait, we didn't see this one. We did not see that one. Okay, mental note, we will go back that way after exploring this side. Oh, and a beautiful hybrid garden. Look at all of these purple flowers. Oh, oh, it's rainbow. Well, it's at least pink and purple and blue. And then you have this really sweet cauliflower and flower farm. And a little sewing and washing area. Oh. Okay, we're already like 40 minutes or almost 40 minutes in this video and I just cannot wrap my brain around how obsessed I am with everything. There's so much to see. There is so much to be inspired by and impressed with. I just, yeah, this is so beautiful. I absolutely love it. Okay, let's go back around this way and give this land <laughs> a little a little tour area. I'm obsessed with this lavender farm. I mean, come on, that is way too beautiful. So we saw Zell's little office area. That This is his house, isn't it? Um, I can't tell. I'm gonna guess that it is though. Maybe that's just because he's hanging right outside of it, but who knows. 
So if we go over here, oh, here's a little incline. Oh, and it takes us to this sweet little seating area. I think this is Bo's. Um, oh, I can't tell. This is so cute. Look at how well everything matches. And then if we go over here, how sweet is this little hideaway? Oh my gosh. This is like, like it's so whimsical and so cute. Oh, no, not map. Get away, map. This is what I want. Like, how? How? Oh, and how sweet. So we have our apples down here. We have our cherries up here. Oh, is this a, of course, of course there's a rock garden. I mean, <gasps> holy smokes. This is the continuation of that rainbow flower garden we saw earlier. I die. This is actual artwork. I don't care what anyone says, this is artwork. Also, how she coordinated both the butterfly models and the hyacinth lamps with the flowers that are below them. Sorry about that, everyone. I had a little technical glitch, but I am so <laughs> floored by this rainbow garden underneath the rock garden. Like, I was not expecting that. Oh, look at how cute this little baby watermelon farm is, too. This is quite adorable, how it all just kind of encloses these villager houses below. How sweet. And then we have another one over here. This really, like, this whole terraformed area, like, we were just over on that side. Oh, and you can hop, too. Well, that makes it easy. Yeah, so the incline is over here, but it really all kind of connects. That is so stunning. Now, before we like go all the way across again, I do want to see what's back here because my interest is peaked. <gasps> Wait, is that a lookout area? How do I get there? That's what I want to do. Oh my gosh. Whoa. That's really cool. That's it, that's the view. I just can't get over the amount of talent that is here, quite frankly. Like, there is so, so much talent on this island. It is absolutely insane. This must have taken so much work. Oh, look how beautiful and more villager houses. This is so nice. So before, I guess, well actually, you know, while we're here, let's go ahead and explore this area. There's a nice little seating spot. Oh, and I think this connects to, yep, to the very first house. And this was, yeah, this was the secret beach. Okay, okay, okay. I know where we are now. <laughs> there is just so much to see. This island is stunning. Wow. So let's go to that rainbow garden again and see what's in this back left corner and then we'll see the last house. And then I think, I think that's it. You know, it's, it's gonna be so hard to tell because I mean, y'all come visit this dream address. You will not be disappointed. <gasps> Like, I truly gasp at how beautiful this is. Wow. Like, this takes some insane talent. Dang, that's amazing. 
Well, this is a cute little area. You're just a little hop, skip, and a jump away from this villager house, which is so sweet. And then over here, oh, Bo! <laughs> My boy. There's a nice outdoor kitchen area and fish spot, which I love. And another outdoor seating spot. <laughs> So amazing. And then that all connects to the back again. Okay, so let's go find that fourth house and maybe we'll see some spots we missed on the way. Oh my gosh, hey cutie. You are so cute. I can't. So I think we looked over this way already because there's Secret Beach, but does it connect to anything over here? Because I don't remember going this way. Ah, yes, that laundry area back here. That's right. Okay, so let's go find that last house because it's gotta be, hmm, it's gotta be somewhere around here, but it's up a level. Okay, so we need to go down and to the right, past the farm. Maybe this way. Oh, look at how cute this pumpkin shop is. Yep, I knew we would see more details. <laughs> I knew we would see more details that we missed. <laughs> there is so much to see. I am blown away. I really, really am. So if the other house is up a level, I wonder if it connects beyond here. Like if we keep going past the Able Sisters, Oh, yep. Bingo. Oh my gosh, it's like an orange dream. How cute is this exterior? Oh my gosh, with the lighthouse too? That is so cute. I love how each of these houses too is very much themed with its exterior. Okay, this is our last house we're checking out and I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna cry. I don't want this to end. <gasps> Whoa. Look at this beautiful blue cafe. Talk about unexpected. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, that customized mom's tea cozy. I, I can't get over it. Whoa. I wonder, well, okay. I'm gonna make an, a guess based off of what's in this second room, but I have a sneaking suspicion as to what the theme is in this island. I mean, in this house. Oh, and a little cheese shop. Bread and cheese. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Well, maybe I'm right, unless this room is like either red or brown. I was gonna say, because the exterior was all orange and yellow, maybe each room has like a dedicated color. So yeah, this one could be red or brown. This is so cute. I love the awards on the wall too. Like, yeah, we saw the best bread. We saw the best cheese. Super cute. And back room time. Oh, this is a little bakery too. So maybe all of these rooms actually just kind of support that front cafe room. This is such a cute bakery. Oh my gosh, the little KitchenAid that's going. Gosh, I love it. Like I said, if you need interior inspiration, look no further than visiting Bearland because all of these rooms have been so immaculate, so intricate, and just like all so different too. Like you name the theme or the aesthetic, it's on it's on one of the Bearland interiors. <laughs> oh, look how pretty. Now, this is such a fun concept for a bathroom. Like it feels like 
when you're at a department store and they have like the seating areas and like the powder room attached to the bathroom. Wow, yeah, she really nailed it with these simple panels to really get that effect. This is so good. I am 100% not playing the same game as these people. <laughs> Cat, your island's amazing. I don't know what else to say. This is so, so fun. Okay, so we have seen both of those. Let's go upstairs first. Oh, how elegant is this room? I love that gold Christmas tree in this room so much. I tend to gravitate towards like the natural colored trees, but not here. That is a really nice like neutral but still sparkly accent and what otherwise is like a very neutral kind of like earth tone vibe of a room. And I love the music area. Whoever's in this room definitely plays the cello. <laughs> I want to I want to live in this room. I would like to claim this as my bedroom, please. Oh my gosh, and the last room downstairs. <laughs> I can't believe that we have been recording for like over 45 minutes. <gasps> this plant slash coffee shop. No way. No way how unique and cool is this idea a place where you can come shop for some plants you can grab a cup of coffee maybe get some fertilizer or a new shovel oh my. <laughs> this is really really cute and an idea i definitely will take some inspiration from. This is so nice and I love all the wreaths. Like this is your florist where you would come and either, you know, have them design a special wreath or pick one out just for you that's pre-made. Wow. We definitely saved an incredible room for the last room. I am just I have no words. I know I have been saying that a lot throughout this entire island tour, uh, but my socks have been knocked off. What, what do you want me to tell you? I had a feeling that I would love this island just based on what I had seen online, but I mean, you gotta, you gotta agree with me that this is just like so, so beautiful, like everything, every tiny nook and cranny, pun very much intended, is just so perfect. I think for us to say our goodbyes, I'm gonna make my way up to this absolutely beautiful bridge that we saw earlier because, I mean, come on, come on. It was this or the rainbow garden. <laughs> All right, you guys. I would just like to say, first off, huge shout out to Kat for creating an incredible island. I mean, I'm blown away. If you guys liked this video, I know it was a little bit longer than typical ones, but I had to see every single aspect of those houses. It was just so worth it to me. So if you're still hanging with me, give this video a like, comment down below. Uh, also make sure to subscribe for future island tours. Would love to have you be a part of this awesome community. With that said, love you guys so much. Hopefully you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in this big old beautiful world. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.